What? <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> what is going on, guys? Welcome to our Week 3 match for the GBA D-League. This week we are taking on M Magic Activator and his Memphis Drizzly. Sorry, his team name and his actual name confused me there for a second, but uh, we are mid-challenging, and uh, we are going to get into this. Come on, single battle. There we go. All right. Uh, as you guys know, uh, well, you should know the team that we brought. If you do not uh, yet, then make sure to check out the team builder, the video that came out right before this one. It'll also be linked in the description down below. I'm a little bit nervous because uh, this game has been put off for a little while, um, having this uh, a little before the uh, the upload goes up. So, uh, yeah, just to give you an idea. And, uh, yeah, we are ready with this team, and uh, we're ready to get into it. And this doesn't matter. Thank you, uh, participating team. Let the battle begin. There we go. All right. So those are the six that I think he's going to bring. We're about to see what he brings. And uh, let me get this out of the way. There we go. All right. So I think he's choosing his team. We're still waiting. And uh, yeah, that intro was re really weird. Sorry, because... My OBS actually lagged out, and I couldn't tell if the recording had started or not, so... I mean, you guys might not even notice, because I might edit that out. But, uh, I was, like, so confused. I was like, did it start, or no? And, uh, that's, like, the one tricky thing about, uh, OBS, is that it doesn't, like, give you a countdown or anything. You click start recording, and that's it. Uh, so, let's choose our participating Pokémon. We are ready. Let's see what he brought. He brought Landorus, Milotic, uh, Arcanine, Jolteon, uh, Gardevoir, Nomus Magius. Wow! Yes! Okay, cool. So Umbreon's not as uh, useful anymore. So no Miss Mag, no um, Gardevoir is there, no Armaldo. All right, and instead we have Milotic, which is above uh, below Arcanine over here. So we'll move that up, and uh, we also have Mean Shell. So Mean Shell, get it, get in the layout, please. Uh, you are not visible yet. There you are. All right, Gardevoir, come down here, please. And uh, there we go. All right. So against a team like this, I'm um, looking at it, and Infernape doesn't look too bad of a lead. I think he leads with Mean Shao. Uh, I have a switch into Mean Shao, though. So actually, Umbreon's not a horrible lead either, looking at his team. I just don't want to get caught off by the... Um, yeah, I don't want to get caught off by nor the Lando, nor the, um, the Guard of War. So I think I'm going to lead off with... I want to say... Infernape's decently safe because I can just U-turn out on whatever. So yeah, I'm going to just lead with Infernape. As you know, we are Choice Scarfed. So we're going to do that. And my win con still looks like my win con. I just need to get rid of the Guard of War, I believe. And I should be good to go. So here we are. We're ready to start. He hasn't picked his six yet. I am standing by. <sighs> All right. Let go of the nerves a little bit. And uh, we'll get ready to go, so... I'm going to make uh, Arcanine just a little bit smaller on the layout because it's a little bit huge. All right, so he's ready. Here we go. He didn't run out of time, luckily. All right. Let's see what he chose to lead off with. Uh, I'm figuring, like, Lando or Mean Shao seem like the most likely leads on his part looking at my team. And uh, we do have our six, right? All right, so I'm going to turn on the HP bar as soon as his mon comes out. And it is going to be Glitch. This is the Jolteon. Okay. Yeah, I remember that nickname. Okay. All right. So I've had this lead matchup a few times in my mocks. Okay. Why is this all the way up here? What the heck? Move down, you. All right. We've got we to gotta reposition this mid-battle. But, uh, okay. I should be able to see like that. That should be fine. I just don't want it to snap to the... Uh, how do I stop it from snapping? That's really annoying. All right. Well, you guys are going to have to deal with the HP bar looking like this. Uh, I'm gonna have to deal with it too though. Come on, go. Uh, Alright, that's not so bad. Alright, so, uh, I can just U-turn here. I can go into something like Umbreon, uh, and if he's not Scarfed, then we get this off really easily. And if he is Scarfed, then so be it. But, uh, I don't expect Scarfed Jolteon. So I'm gonna go for U-turn. Turn one. Uh, I know it does about 30-35% to 35 to Jolteon, if I'm not mistaken, because it's not very physically bulky. He wants to go Milotic or Lando. I have responses to both of those things. So I'm good there. Lando, I'll just go into my Salamence. And uh, Milotic, I will probably go into uh, Quillfish and start getting up Spikes because he didn't bring Hazard Removal. And five of his Mons are grounded. So yeah, let's do that. Let's you turn out. Hopefully we get this. got to bring my Pop Filter back in here. Hold on. Let's get that back over there. There we go. He's really uh, taking his time making this play. 
I don't know what's taking him so long. So he's going to withdraw. He doesn't want to stay in here. He's going to go into Boomy. Who is Boomy? That is the Lando. Okay. Makes sense. Uh, the Intimidate goes off. And there's my pop filter. Okay, we got it. All right, so we get off a U-turn. Does he have a Rocky Helmet? Let's see what he is. So that did about 10%, 9-ish. I'm going to just calc that real quick. I have time. So Landorus, Therian versus Infernape. Where's Ace? Ace, you turn 7.8 to 9 to an offensive variant. So it would have done less to a defensive one. So I think he's offensive. Knowing that, I can go into either Blair or uh, Grandina. Grandina is my immediate response. However, Grandina is limited to Earthquake and Z Fly. Uh, I can Dragon Dance in his face, but if he's Continental Crush, that's a bad time. Um, all right, so here's what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to go into Salamence, and I think I'm going to double into my Umbreon. So I just want the Intimidate off. I want to see what he's going to do. So we're going to get off this Intimidate. And uh, I could also go into Bakugo, realistically. Um, let me just... Hold on a second. Where are the properties... Uh, where are my settings? I don't want things snapping, essentially. And my settings aren't coming up great. All right, there we go. Um, all right, I need to get these out of here because they're lagging like crazy. All right, OBS is like dying. All right, I might have to, I might have to post record this. Hopefully that's not the case. Okay, it doesn't look like it is going to be the case. Uh, so I am going to double into Umbreon. I don't know why OBS is doing this, but I am just going to double into Umbreon here. And we'll see what he does consequentially. He himself might switch out. Um, if, if he stays in, I could definitely see him being a Scarf variant. And not fearing me to be Scarfed. Because I could, I could very easily have Hydro Pump right here. But he doesn't know that. He doesn't know what I have. And I don't want to reveal myself too early. Now if he goes for rocks, it's not the end of the world. My team isn't too weak to rocks outside of Salamence. I do have Roost. So I should be good there. Um, I really wish I could readjust this HP bar. Man. Let me see if I can do it in, uh, like a micro scale. Oh, oh, I think we got something. I think we, oh, no, no, not, not exactly. Almost. There it is. Come on. Stop snapping. There we go. All right. Uh, no, it's still not right on. There we go. All right. I got it. I got it, guys. We're good. All right, so I'm just going to bring this back up. Let's see what he does. If he goes for U-turn, that's cool. He's going to go for a Z-move. So I'm assuming it's Continental Crush if he clicked it this early. Uh, I am not physically defensive. Just putting that out there. I'm pretty sure I'm specially defensive for the Miss Magius. However, I should be able to take this. Okay, so he is Continental Crush. Fantastic. So this isn't going to do too much damage considering I am an Umbreon. And uh, I'm pretty free to foul play the turn after. So let's see how much this actually does. All right, very little. Cool, 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 cool. All right, and we're not playing around with this lander. We will foul play. I just want to see that damage. Umbreon, Blair from Stone Edge. So obviously, I could have knocked out his lando with a supersonic sky strike. I just didn't want to risk him being uh, eight, like defensive HP ice for some reason, and like I miscalced with Infernape. Uh, let's see. Stone Edge, Z. Where is Z move? At minus one attack. Um, he seems to be jolly. Because he didn't do that much to me. A 33%. What's 141 out of 201? What is that? Out of 201. Hello? <laughs> 141 divided by 201. There we go. 70, so I took about 34-ish. Uh, yeah, so it's a low roll on, uh, well, I took about 36, actually. Yeah, so it's a mid roll on, uh, on Jolly. All right, so I can just go for the foul play here, very simply. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. That way he can't Swords Dance in front of me. He is going to go for Stealth Rocks, that's fine. Like I said, I don't really care about that. Uh, his Lando is going to be severely weakened now, which is really good for me. And uh, let's see how much this does. All right, so it does about 40%. Which is good, which means he cannot uh, Swords Dance in my face. And I can just go for a Wish here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. We're going to Wish up. Uh, and it's actually looking like Salamence can just straight sweep. 
if it wants to. I will try to sweep the Cresselia clearly, but Gardevoir is in the way. Gardevoir is the biggest problem. So, uh, I covered Swords Dance there, which was important. So he's Stealth Rock, Stone Edge. I'm going to write this down. And Lando's at exactly 50. So, Lando... What does he do? He withdraws. That should be Gardevoir, right? No, that is going to be the Milotic. Okay, that's fine. We get off the Wish. And I don't have Toxic or anything. Um, Alright, Lando is at 50. The... Uh, we know it's Jolly. Foul Play did about 40, so that's correct. Adamant would have done a little bit more. Um, let's see, Lando is at 50, and it also has Stone, Edge, and Rocks. Okay, so two Rock moves, essentially. Alright, so I could stay in here. I can't really do anything to this Milotic, though. So I think I'm going to switch out. I want to stay into Bakugo. Uh, Bakugo seems like the safest option. He could be competitive. That's something that's not completely off the table. That would be scary. Um, especially switching in Bakugo like that. Alright, so actually... I think I'm just going to foul play. Because I want my Embryon at full, regardless. So he's going to go for a Scald, it's fine. If he burns me, then he burns himself. I know he gets his Marvel Scale as a result, but it's not that big a deal. He does burn me. Uh, Synchronize is going to go off. And we are going to get a burn off on the Milotic. Uh, however, my... Uh, foul play is going to do absolutely nothing. So, having the burn on this uh, is actually not too bad. I'm not too worried about it. Um, because I do have the heal bell, one. And two, um, I'd rather a burn on this than a burn on something like Metagross or Quillfish. So, despite that, I am going to switch in my Quillfish right here. So, let's do that. Um, Pokemon. Bakugo. I do get switch advantage thanks to... I'm just so worried about him going into Jolteon, you know? Uh, we're going to go into Quillfish here. And make the switch, and we'll see what he wants to do. I do want a layer of spikes up as soon as possible. So that's what we're going to try to do here. We're going to take Rock's damage. That's not too big a deal, as he is going to go for what? I'm going to get off the Intimidate. Is he competitive? No. Good. All right. So Scald, does he get the burn on me? Uh, he does. Okay. Again, not too big a deal, because I do have Heal Bell. And we are going to get some Black Sludge Recovery. And I'm just going to check something here. Alright, so I do want up a Spike ASAP. That is my goal right here, is to get up a Spike. And uh, yeah, the, uh, the Milotic's not taking any damage, but it's fine. Uh, I do have Pain Split as well, so if it comes to it, I will Pain Split in front of this Milotic. So I'm going to get up a Spike first. That's my priority. He can easily go into his Jolte uh, Jolteon as an offensive switch, or something like his Landorus, if he wants to. Uh, Arcanine, I can't see coming in. Um, also, because the Landorus is offensive, if I get rid of the Arcanine and the Milotic, Infernape can sweep late game. Um, the issue is the Gardevoir. I really want to get rid of the Gardevoir, that's the big thing. So I have to force it in on, uh, on Spikes a few times. Let's try to make that happen. So obviously, like I said, if he goes for uh, another Scald right here and weakens me, I can always Pain Split with him and get back a lot of health. That's the exact reason that I didn't run max, max HP on uh, on Quillfish. As we are going to get off a of Spike here, and uh, we'll see what he wants to do. He might Dragon Tail me. He goes for Scald, okay, that's fine. Again, we can just Pain Split. So, I'm going to take that damage, not too bad. 69 is what we're left with. And uh, I may just get up another Spike, because I can Wish Pass into this later, and then Pain Split. Because uh, barring a crit, I don't think he can knock me out with my Milotic. Milotic to Quillfish, uh, Bakugo. Scald should be doing 20 to 25, which is about what it's doing. So 32% does not equate to, or actually 37% does not equate to 69 out of 167, uh, I don't think. Divided by 167 is uh 41 yeah so i'm higher than that all right so we'll click another spike here because i can i can just pain split after so that's fine like i said he has no hazard removal and i want to chip away at his team as much as possible 
So he is just going to go for another Scald. Let's see if he crits me. Crit would actually not be bad for me. Because uh, it would put me lower and it would give me more health back with Pain Split. So. I do want to keep this around, obviously. Just for the mean show. Like, that's the big thing. As uh, I am wasting his Scalds quite nicely. <laughs> this is uh, not going too bad. I think he's used four so far. Uh, I believe so. So we're just going to Pain Split. Obviously something like Landorus can come in here. If it wants to. Uh, but that's a risk I'm willing to take at this very moment, because he did burn his Continental Crush, as he is going to switch out, isn't he? Nope, he's going to stay in on my Pain Split. Fantastic. So we're going to get back a ton of health right here, go up to 111 as he's going to drop pretty low. And uh, like I said, I do want to keep this thing around just specifically for the Mean Shell so that it can't spam fighting moves against me, uh, or like knockoffs and stuff. So I do expect like a Scarf Mean Shell, and maybe like a Life Orb Jolteon, potentially. But uh, I am going to switch out into my uh, into my Umbreon on this turn. Even if he recovers, it's fine. I can Heal Bell and then Wish Pass back into my Quillfish. So this might be a long one, guys. Bear with me. <laughs> I'm going to make the switch here into Umbreon. It's relatively safe for most of his team anyway. Um, Landorus, I don't expect to be SD at this point because it has rocks. It could be SD, uh, Stone Edge, uh, Earthquake... Stealth Rocks, definitely. Could definitely be that set. Good news is this thing is uh, pretty low. To the point where I think Sky Strike actually knocks it out right now. Salamence. Let's see. Grandina. Z Fly. Uh, if it's burned, ability is Marvel. Marvel Scale. And it is status burned. Uh, actually, it only does 37 to 45. Wow. <laughs> My logic's ridiculous. So, yeah, I am going to conserve Bakugo, obviously, right here. As uh, we're going to switch out, we know that we're faster than Milotic, so we don't know if it's switched out yet. As we are going to get in Blair here. And what is he going to go for? He's just going to go for the Recover. That's fine. I don't mind that. And uh, I think I'm going to immediately go for the Heal Bell, because it's to my benefit. Uh, to get rid of the burn on both this and Quillfish as soon as possible so that I can switch them both in more reliably without them having to take a res residual damage from something. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. We're just going to go for the Heal Bell right here. And uh, I think we've wasted, what is it, like five, four or five Scalds? He goes for another one, that's fine. He is faster than my Embryon, obviously, as we are going to get off the Heal Bell. And goodbye burn. Very nice. Uh, I'm expecting him to be like Scald Haze Recover. Probably Haze. Haze makes sense. So that I can't set up with Cresselia on him. <clears throat> I can set up on a few other things, but that uh, that we'll get to when we get to it. Anyway, he has to continuously burn me with Scald. He already got two out of two prior. So, uh, I mean, he has to be pretty lucky here. Um, we are just going to click Wish. We lose nothing on this turn, clicking Wish. And uh, then we're going to have to figure out what the heck I want to switch in. Because <laughs> I'm not sure yet. So we are going to get off this wish. Is he... Actually, I think we're speed tying. Unless he went for Dragon Tail. Yeah. Okay. So he goes for Dragon Tail. Gets me out of there. That's fine. Whatever he sends in, I am going to catch a wish, essentially. As I do get Metagross. This is good. I get up my rocks now. As uh, I don't need Metagross as much this game because he didn't bring Kartana. So I don't need the Cold Berry or anything. As uh, he's going to get some recovery. Of course, he can Scald Burn me, but my Wish is online right now. So, I am just going to get uh, my Rocks up. Uh, so, we're going to go for Stealth Rocks here. And uh, it doesn't really matter what he switches in. Like Lando, I can switch into uh, Salamence on. And at minus one, his Stone Edge can't kill me. I can even go for a Dragon Dance if I want to. How much does uh, my Lodic take from plus one? 56 to 73, that's a lot better. Alright, so we're going to see the Scald, obviously, right here. His Scalds aren't breaking me, though, because I do have Umbreon with Heal Bell, so... As, uh, he gets yet another burn. To be expected from Scald, because it just burns every time it hits, so... You know. Um... And, uh, back in Umbreon we go, I guess. Burn to Metagross is bad, though. Burn Metagross is not good because I need to get rid of the uh, the Gardevoir, and Bullet Punch is my best way to do it. So we are going to switch right back into Umbreon. 
And, uh, I think we've gone through, like, six Scalds at this point. What's Scalds PP? Like, 16? Scald. Scald, Pokemon. Let's see. PP 15, max 24. Okay. Alright, so we're not getting rid of those anytime soon. As he goes for Scald again. As, let's see, does he get the burn? No, wow. Alright, for once. Woo! About time. As, uh, if he wants to Dragon Tail me out, that's fine. I actually, I am actually just going to click uh, Heal Bell on this turn, regardless of what he does. And we're going to get rid of that burn on Metagross, because that's really what's hindering me right now. I could also just click Protect. Uh, protect on his Dragon Tail. We're going to click, uh, we're going to click Heal Bell. We are going to click Heal Bell. Because I really do not enjoy this burn right now. As uh, he is going to Dragon Tail me on this turn, that's fine. So, goodbye burn on Metagross. As he Dragon Tails again. What does he get this time? Please give me Chrysalia, come on. Because he doesn't have Haze. Okay, he gets Quillfish. It's not a big deal. That's fine. Alright, so I, he knows that I can Pain Split, that's the thing. I'm not burned though. Would he go into Landorus here is the question. Predicting my pain split. I wonder. Because he's still at max health, right? So I got up two spikes. I need one more, I think. Let me check that. I can actually check that on DS, you know. Uh, uh, that's his team. What do we have here? Uh, two st uh, spikes and one stealth rock. Yeah. Okay. So... Um, I have a few options. I can go for Pain Split. I, I know I'm at lower HP than Lando, because Lando's HP is naturally higher than, um, than Quillfish. So, even if it switches in on rocks, I think. Uh, actually, no, sorry. That's, uh, no, I'm looking at Salamence. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Quillfish, Bagugo. Uh, 65, 167. But actually, if he doesn't invest, we're exactly the same. So, Pain Splitting is tough. Because I might end up losing health as a result. I can always wish pass into this later, though. Yeah, I'm going to pain split. Let's we'll see what he does. If he goes Lando, it's fine. If he goes Jolteon, that's actually good, I want to say. I did let my Umbreon get very weak, though. I don't really need it because he didn't bring the Vespagius, but like I still like it in this match. It does check things like his, uh, his Jolteon and whatnot. This, might, this is going to be a long one, guys. I'm warning you right now. So we've seen three moves on Milo. Milotic. Bellarive. You have Scald. Recover. And Dragon Tail. So I know that I can set up on you with Cresselia. However, as long as the Gardevoir is around, that's not going to be an option. So I am going to get off the pain split. He does allow me to, which is nice, as we are going to go back up to a respectable amount of health right here. And he's just going to go for a skull, try to get another burn. That's fine. As uh, Let's see if he gets it. And nope. Good. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to taunt this thing and prevent it from recovering. That is the ideal play right now. So my Lotic's a nuisance, but only as long as it has skulls, <laughs> essentially. So we might end up running out of skulls. Um, I'm gonna taunt. I'm gonna taunt to make sure that he can't recover. And then that'll leave my, uh, my Quillfish decently healthy. And then I can switch into my Umbreon. If I want to. I guess. Um. And then it comes down to... Does he predict me to switch back into Umbreon on the turn that he Dragon Tails? That's always what it's gonna come down to. I think... As my Lotic's annoying, it's not like, it's not destroying my team, but it's annoying me. So, let's see. He's going to get taunted. Does he go for the recover on this turn? That would be great. Yes. Okay. So, we taunted it out of recover, which is nice. As, um... Alright. He's probably going to go for Skull on this turn, because he can't do anything else but Scald or Dragon Tail. Um... How do I want to play around this? Alright. Blair's at 95 out of 201, which is not great. 
Okay, he can't burn every Scald, right? He burned three out of the four that he could have, or five. So that's like 60%. So I'm going to go straight into Serenity. I'm going to make a hard switch into Serenity. Let's see what he does. He should Scald, in theory. I could have gotten up another layer of Spike, but at this point, his Milotic isn't recovered enough. So, Oh, I avoided the Dragon Tail. Wow, that's actually pretty clutch, because now I can get up a sub if I want to. Um, let's see. So he's still taunted, right? And he's burned. So I could also just fire off a Psychic. How much do I do to Milotic? Milotic. Right, default versus uh, Cresselia. Serenity Psychic does 32 to 38 to a standard Milotic, so I could 2-it KO him. He's probably going to go for Dragon Tail. I just want to go I, I just want to go for Psychic. Cause if he Dragon Tails me, then that's fine. I don't really care about that. As that did nothing. <laughs> that did actual nothing. So he's Spadef. He's Spadef with Marvel Scale. As he gets my Umbreon. Okay, so this isn't bad. As uh let's see how much uh does his taunt wear off this turn? I've taunted, switched into Cress, Psychic. So it should have one more turn, I think. I'm pretty sure. So the best he can do to me is... Um... Okay, his taunt wore off. Okay. So regardless, I'm just going to wish. Regardless of what he does, I don't care what he clicks. He can click Recover, he can click anything. I'm just going to wish. He goes for Recover. Okay, good. Alright, so I'm going to get my, uh, my Umbreon back up to full. Ooh, thank God, because that could have been bad. <laughs> I needed this thing at as much health as possible. And I do have the Protect, so I'm going to reveal it here. I don't think I've used it yet. I have to check my PP, but I'm pretty sure I haven't used it yet. So Scald, Recover, Dragon Tail, that's literally all we've seen. I don't know how many Scalds he's gone for, but uh, it's quite a few. This is a much stallier match than I thought it was going to be. We might end at a 6-6. Six, six. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to Protect. And I can't get impatient with the uh, Milotic. I cannot get impatient. I'm just going to protect here. See what he does. As he goes for the Dragon Tail. And I protect it. Cool. Alright, so we're going to get back up to near full. Actually, I think we're at full. Uh, after the leftovers, I'm pretty sure. As uh, He's gone for a few Dragon Tails, a few Scalds. I know how stally Milotic can be. I've stalled with it before too. So... Uh, I just get to click Wish here, essentially, and uh, whatever he wishes in again is fine, so, yeah, we'll go for Wish, and no matter what he wishes in, we're good. Okay, so he's actually going to withdraw this time, finally, as he's going to go into Ty Lee. Who's Ty Lee? The Mean Xiao. Okay, cool. This is fine. Takes the spikes, takes the rock damage, so I got to remember that Mean Xiao's at, like, 77%. Uh, Milotic's also at 94 uh, 94, and then we have Mean Xiao at 77, right? About that. And uh, we are going to go straight into Bakugo, because not only do we catch the Wish, we also intimidate this thing. And there's nothing he can really do about it. So, let's do it. He's probably going to U-turn, I would assume. But, like, at this point, everything on my team is healed. Everything's almost at full. Whereas his Lando is at 50 his and the rest of his team has to come in on hazards and all i'm coming in on is rocks so i don't care about rocks let's see what he does i do get off the intimidate this is my main check to mean shout nothing he goes for can knock me out goes for u-turn that's fine He's probably gonna go into jolteon i am gonna catch the wish though he gets a crit uh i didn't really see how much it did but i mean like i know he's not banded <laughs> essentially i'm pretty sure that's not banded damage with a crit as, uh, yeah, Jolteon can come in if it wants to. I really don't care. <laughs> that really doesn't matter. Because, like, yeah, and he can start, like, a volt turning pattern uh, between Jolteon and Minsha, but that's why I got up my hazards. Like, that that was the reason, was because I wanted to prevent his volt turn. And it's working out perfectly. He can go Gardevoir as well, and, like, Shadow Ball on my switch to Metagross, but I'm pretty sure Gardevoir dies to Bullet Punch into anything. Right? Gardevoir, any set, even max HP, versus my 
Metagross. All right, he has Wild Charge on this, obviously. Arcanine comes in, takes almost half of its health. It's at 60. He has Intimidate. Okay, good to know. Um, we are going to get back up to full, so that's nice. Metagross, Alphonse. How much do you do with Bullet Punch 2 Gardevoir? Yeah, it does 58 to 68. It's a ridiculous amount. Um, so, yeah, Arcanine comes in. It obviously has Wild Charge. There's no doubt in my mind. Um, my Umbreon is specially defensive once again. So... I could also just go into Salamence. But Umbreon's just safe. Umbreon is super safe. <laughs> We're just gonna go into it. I lose nothing. Like, he can Morning Sun, he can do whatever, he can, uh, Will-O-Wisp me, he can Toxic me. If he Toxics, he gets Toxic, so I really don't care. These Hazards are, are pretty much killing him at this point. <laughs> like, there are four Mons on his team that potentially have no recovery, being this Arcanine, uh, Mean Shao, Jolteon, and Gardevoir, all of which, if they have no recovery, get chipped so hard by these Hazards. It's, like, actual ridiculous damage. Uh, as we do get into Blair, Blair who was at full before the rocks, and he's going to go for the wild charge. So we're going to get to see the damage, 176 down to 111. How much is that? 176 uh, minus 111, 65. Did he lose HP due to uh, life orb? Uh, looks like he did because he wouldn't have taken that much. Alright, uh, 65 divided by 201. He did 32% to me. I want to see what that is. Arcanine. Um, Life Orb. Wild Charge to my Umbreon. Umbreon, Blair. Yep. It's Life Orb, definitely. And it's Life Orb, Adamant, Max Attack. How much does he do to me with Flare Blitz? 70. Whoa. That's a lot. Alright, we're going to Protect. Right? Yeah. Protect. I don't want him clicking anything crazy, like Flare Blitz. Uh, right now, I'm 123 out of 201. That is 61. He goes for Will-O-Wisp. Okay, that's fine. I don't care about that. If you Will-O-Wisp me, like, <laughs> what does that matter to me? I already showed you Heal Bell. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to wish. Because, like, he'll kill himself if he Flare Blitzes, as he does. If he, get, if he doesn't get a max roll, he doesn't kill me. Yeah, exactly. Takes a bunch of damage. Takes life orb recoil as well. We get off a wish. And I can just protect on the following turn. I mean, it's a cool set and all, but... Like, it dies really, really easily. Because of this. Unless he has Morning Sun. If he has Morning Sun, then good on him, but... I just want to see how much Quillfish takes from this thing. I think it's under 50. Well, I'll charge after the intimidate. Well, it's 43 to 51. Okay. So we'll go for the protect as he goes for the will o wisp. Okay, good. All right. So we get that right. And uh, his flare blitz does 20 to 25 to me. And he would die to recoil. All right, so Blair's at 142. That's a good amount. Uh, Gardevoir's still the issue. All right, so we're going to switch into Bakugo here. Even if he wild charges, it doesn't matter. Because uh, he still dies to the recoil, which is essentially what I want. That's all I need. So, exactly exactly what we're going to do. We're going to get off an Intimidate. He's probably going to Flare Blitz, as he does. Okay, good. So I'm going to take like 20 to 25 from this. Not too much. Very good. Don't burn me, please. Thank you. Die to your Life Orb or your Recoil. And goodbye, Arcanine. Awesome. So, Ark is dead. We can get rid of that on the layout. Finally, one Mon down. <laughs> We're looking good, boys. We're looking good. Boys and girls, sorry. Sorry. 2017. Gotta remember that. Alright, so we're at 125. Obviously, Jolteon can come in. I think this is his opportunity to go into Jolteon, like, right here. I know he doesn't want to get it chipped, but, like, at the same time, like, it's your only thing that deals with Quillfish. Outside of, like, Lando. Lando can deal with it. And Gardevoir if it has Psychic coverage. But at this point, I'm thinking it's like Fairy and uh, Ghost to deal with my uh, Cresselia plus Umbreon Core as well as Metagross and Decidueye and all that. So he might not even have a Psychic-type move on his Gardevoir, <laughs> which would be interesting. 
So. Yep. Um, I'm glad I forced the Milotic out, because I needed to kill no matter what. Because if this comes down to the timer, I need to be ahead in Mons. I definitely need to be ahead in Mons. So. Alright, what's going to come in, bro? It's got to be Jolteon, right? He's going to take 28%, so he's going to be at 72 uh, so Minsha is actually at 78. So if you see it come back in with more health than 78, we know that it's Regenerator. Which is kind of what I'm expecting it to be. Because Regen's pretty good against me. Um, Yeah, his team is really, really weak to this. Finally comes in the Jolteon. So we can write right away Jolteon is at 72. Jolteon 72. We haven't seen a single move from the Jolteon yet. I was trying to click my screen to click my move. Uh, no, not fight. Pokemon. Uh, Blair. We'll go to Blair. And, uh... Should be able to handle this. The Evolutions versus each other. There's the Volt Switch. Let's see how much it does. He does from 117 down to 77. 117 minus uh, 77 is 40 divided by my 201 is 19%. Let's see what kind of Jolteon that is. Jolteon with specs to my Umbreon Blair. Um, Volt Switch does normally 24 to 28, so he's definitely not specs. Uh, he just got a max roll on uh, Timid Max Special Attack. He could be modest too, I guess. Which, against my team, actually makes sense. There's no reason for him to run uh, Timid. So, yeah, that's that's modest Volt Switch. Okay, cool. Now, I still don't know if he's Scarfed or what he is, really. Um, no matter what he goes into here, except for Gardevoir, I will probably click Protect just to get back a little bit of health. If my Lotic comes in, then I can uh, Protect into Wish, and that's pretty safe. If Lando comes in, I can still foul play kill it. So, it doesn't really accomplish much for him. Antoinette is probably the guard, right? Yeah, okay. So, this we definitely have to go into Metagross on. I can't uh, I can't risk staying in on, like, a Calm Mind. He traces my Synchronize, which doesn't matter, really. As I get my leftovers, and we're going to be back up to about 100. Oh, never mind, 89. <laughs> Miscalculated that really hard. Alright, so, yeah, we can pretty much safely, I think, go into uh, my Metagross here. Like I said, Metagross doesn't do anything except for uh, check this Gardevoir right now, because he didn't bring the Kartana, so I'm fine. if Even if he predicts me and goes for Shadow Ball, I'm okay with that, as he's going to go for the Moon Blast. Okay, cool. So, he's going to deal uh, very, very little damage, as he does 122. Um, is that Specs? Hold on. Guard of War versus Metagross Alphonse. Um, uh, no, not not Hyper Voice. Moon Blast. Thank you, Calc. Uh, <laughs> thank you for assuming it's a Mega Guard of War. 22 to 27. Yeah, that seems about right. That seems about right for Timid Max Special Attack. Okay. So uh, I'm not playing games. I know he has the Milotic. I'm just going to go for the Bullet Punch. I don't care. I'm just going for Bullet Punch. And uh, if he doesn't have that much HP investment, I will knock him out with the Bullet. Because it does 70 to 83. So even if he's max HP, I think it's still a roll. Uh, well, it does max 68. And he's at currently at 70. So no, it wouldn't kill him, but it would leave him in range of Hazards. It would leave him in range of the U-Turn uh, from Infernape. Which is very nice. I love that he didn't bring hazard removal. Like, that's so clutch. Because last minute, I decided... Well, no, not last minute, but I made the decision to not bring a spin blocker. Because I needed a check for the Miss Magius. So, that's really nice. So, we get off the bullet punch. Do we kill the Gardevoir? We'll find out here. We do not. It lives very comfortably. Shadow Ball shouldn't knock me out, though. In theory. Yeah, it does not. Okay, cool. And... He's at 25%, which means he is in range of hazards. So I don't care if he switches out. I'm just going to click Bullet Punch, no matter what. No matter what, I'm clicking Bullet Punch. And I'm getting rid of this thing right now. 
And then we're going to sweep with Priscilla, ladies and gentlemen. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to bring it in on Milotic when he can't burn me. And we are going to 5-0 magic. We are go Guys, I'm sorry, spoiler alert. Skip to, like, uh, from 20 seconds from now if you don't want to hear this. But Jolt won his game 5-0. So if I win my game 5-0, we are dead even going into week 4 where we play each other. That is the storyline right now. That is what I'm working on. We have 23 minutes to make this happen. Let's let's hope let's hope Magic lets us do it. <laughs> let's see what he goes into. If he goes into Lando, I'm just gonna bullet punch it. I don't care. Landorus. How much do you take from a bullet punch if you're offensive? Can you can you just spell Lando correctly? Thank you. Bullet punch does 23 to 27. He was at 50, so yeah, I think he'd be in range of uh oh he's comfortably in range of flare blitz i wonder if he's in range of u-turn uh depends on what kind of role i get with bullet punch i think yeah because without the intimidation i think i can do like uh nine to twelve percent to lando with u-turn i don't really want to click flare blitz but i just basically i just want to leave him in range of rocks and i'm hoping that bullet punch plus rocks right now can do that hopefully well that's even if he goes into lando like <laughs> if he doesn't go into lando it's a completely different story but uh, if he goes Milotic, I'll probably just Zen Headbutt and uh, do as much damage as I can before I bring in my Cresselia. Uh, we got to get Gardevoir off the layout because it is officially dead. And uh, yeah, he was really bulky guard, by the way. He ate up that bullet punch like it was nothing. <laughs> like it was really, really bulky. But uh, we're looking primed to sweep with Cresselia. He goes into Tai Lee. This is the uh, Mean Xiao. Misha, how, do I, how well do you take a bullet punch, buddy? How, how well do you take a bullet punch? <laughs> Hold up. Um, okay, you take it pretty well. You take 38 to 45. All right, he's also regen, by the way. We just saw that. Regen. Um, Jolteon's at 72. Milotic's at full. Lando's at 50. All right, so... It comes down to, do I want to let my Metagross go down? You know what? You know what? Um, well, no, I'm just going to get off damage on this. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> what? What am I talking about? Yeah, just bullet. Just bullet this thing. <laughs> I don't care if he knocks me out. Yeah, just knock him out. He goes for knockoff. My Colberberry pops. Doesn't really matter. I think he's still going to knock me out from this range. Definitely. And, um, now we can do a couple of things. Uh, bug... Fighting does resist bug, doesn't it? Uh, Infernape. Ace. With U-turn, does 18 to 21, not nearly enough. Flare Blitz does 148.9 to 175.1. Okay. Okay. Um... I'm just gonna go into Bakugo. Yeah, I'm gonna go into Bakugo. Uh, Metagross is dead. Where is Metagross? On my team. Thank you. Alright, so we get off the Intimidate. Um, I can very easily just click... Uh, paint, uh, waterfall here. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. As uh, if he's locked into knockoff, then we're looking very... Very, very good. Because then he'll want to knock me off. He doesn't know if I have an offensive move. Waterfall will do a ton. And then I don't think his regen can save him. He could also just go to Milotic here, which is not a bad play. I might need to... Because it... it depends on if he Dragon Tails in my Cresselia or not. It always comes down to that. And I hate that. Is, like, Dragon Tail's a really good bring against me, but that's exactly why I brought sub Cresselia. As he's going to go into Belarive, this is the Milotic. Okay, yeah. For some reason, I was imagining Gardevoir. All right, we got 19 minutes left in this match. We are going to go for a Waterfall on this turn. It's not going to do anything <laughs> to this thing. And uh, I'm going to taunt it. And uh, try to get my Umbreon back up to a respectable amount of health, I think. 
uh, with Wish and Protect. Alright, he's already seen Taunt. Let's see if he falls for it again. Because that's all I'm going to click. I really don't care if you double into Jolteon. Because then your Melodic is almost dead. I'm going to get off the Taunt right here. I might need to sack something. This is the problem. Okay, no, he just goes for Dragon Tail. Get Cress, get Cress, get Cress. Please, Cress. Serenity? Grandina, damn it. Alright. Uh, his last move might be Ice Beam. Is what I'm feeling. And if his last move is Ice Beam... He is taunted right now, so I can take advantage of this, potentially. Um... I don't want to roost because he's, like, not toxic, right? <laughs> so... Uh, I'm just gonna go into... I just need to get in my Serenity. I don't know how I'm gonna do that, though. <laughs> it's gonna be hard. Uh, we'll go back into... Do we go back into Bakugo? He's definitely Marvel scale, but he's not defen He's not physically defensive, he's specially defensive. I think we established this earlier. Hold on. Milotic, uh, default set, but it's not physically defensive. It's like, careful. Uh, calm, calm, calm. Versus, um, Salamence, Grandina, uh, if he's ability, Marvel, Marvel, and status is burned. Uh, is it already clicked into Z-move? Yes, it is. 55%, so there's a chance I don't even kill with this. I want to preserve the... <laughs> I want to preserve the differential really badly. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go into Blair. I'm going to switch into Blair. As much as I don't want to, I'm going to do it. As we get in Blair, let's see if he Dragon Tails again. Wouldn't be a bad play. He might not have Ice Beam because he has Dragon Tail. Yeah, that's what I figured. Please get Cresselia. Come on, man. Please, 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 please. Oh my god, every time. <laughs> this is annoying. Annoying the hell out of me right now. We do get off the, another Intimidate. So his Dragon Tail is severely weakened right now. The Taunt is going to end. But I don't really care if he hits me with the Dragon Tail right now. Uh, I'm just going to click Roost. This is my only setup target for Cresselia at this point. Well, I guess Jolteon can be considered one, but I'm just going to Roost. I'm just going to Roost. Like, obviously he can recover, but I don't really care. Because I, I don't think he's going to recover and let me either set up or switch into Umbreon for free. Is what I'm thinking, basically. I don't care about Dragon Tail, as that is what he's going to click. But he is at minus two, and burned. So this is going to do a whopping seven damage. <laughs> oh man, come on! Are we serious? This is crazy. Come on. I'm going to protect. I'm definitely going to protect on this turn. Yeah. Because I'm in uh, head in Mons, I don't really mind what happens. His taunt wears off. I don't think his Scald kills me though, does it? To Umbreon, Blair, Scald, does max 16%, I'm way above that. I'm almost at 25, so yeah, I can wish. It really doesn't matter. I just need him to get in Cresselia, and I only have 15 minutes left. <laughs> this is going to be annoying. Like, he's, he's just not dragon tailing in Cresselia. He's only catching Umbreon and Salamence. So, what what am I to do? You know? What am I to do to this? I will just wish, though. Uh, if he goes into Mean Shao, I'm okay. Because I can just protect again. on the uh, Or protect, actually, on the following turn. Uh, if he goes for U-turn, I think he's choice to Mean Shao. I'm pretty sure. It looks like he dragon tailed this turn. So... We are going to see the Dragon Tail. Okay, give me Cresselia. Come on. Are we serious? Oh my god. This is actually annoying. This is actually super annoying right now. Like, and I want to go into um, Umbreon, but like, he's just going to click Dragon Tail, right? <laughs> so what's the point? Um... I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna earthquake, actually. <laughs> I'm just gonna earthquake. Hopefully he like goes into Jolteon. 
or something. <laughs> if he goes Lando, it's not a big deal. Like, I really need him to... <sighs> Come on, dude. Okay, so now... If he doesn't, if he gets Quillfish or Infernape now, I'm gonna be angry. Okay, he goes for Scald. That's fine. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. You can Scald all you want, and he gets the burn. <laughs> okay. All right. Um. All right. So I think. Oh, whoops! Drop my stylus. Uh oh. All right, I got it here. All right. So I think at this point, my only play is going to be to hard switch into Cresselia right here. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Because he's probably going to recover. Because he can on this turn. He has no reason not to. I'm burned now. He knows that I'm physical. He saw Earthquake. So I'm going to go for it now. If he Dragon Tails, then he Dragon Tails. Who cares? <laughs> like, eventually, I'm going to sack something and get in my Cresselia for free. Okay, finally, he goes for recover. Phew! All right. Good, 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 good. So, we know he's specially defensive, but I can easily set up on this. Like, super easily. As we are just going to go for a substitute on this turn. These animations take forever. I hate that this thing is burned. Ugh! I really wish <laughs> he didn't burn my Umbreon early on. Alright, we're going to go for sub. We should have this. We have 12 minutes to make this happen. Let's do it. Let's try to get the 5-0. As we do get behind a sub, he's gonna go for toxic. Nah, 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 nah. This is something I, I anticipated was toxic mylotic, but he's slow. He's slow and he can't hit me. No freaking way, magic. Uh uh, not happening. You are dealing with a calm mind cress right now, whether you like it or not. It is happening. <laughs> All right? Fight, calm mind. Let's go. Let's do this. What do you got? What do you got? I'm Cresselia behind a sub. You let me come in. I, w I wish you would have dragon tailed me in like four, five, six turns ago, but it didn't happen. All right, so I'm sorry. I'm 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 a little bit like flustered, guys, because this is really really annoying to have to to deal with this. To always get like I got scald burned how many times this game? Like six? Can somebody? I, I might just put edit in a scald a burn counter on the screen at this rate, and I never do that. Uh, and then he dragon tails me like five times, six times, and never once gets Cresselia. Like, now I understand Dan's pain last week. Like, <laughs> I really understand his pain for not getting Rotom once. That, uh, that sucked. But, anyway. Um, we are gonna Calm Mind here. He's taking quite a bit of time on, the on his move here. I don't know how much time is left on the, on the timer. But uh, he might just be trying to conserve differential, which, I mean, at this point, is it really worth it? Um, I guess it is, if you want to try to stay in the playoff race. But, like, I'm not going to message him or anything. Let him do what he wants. A win is a win. Uh, look, uh, the storyline is I want to go into week, uh, week four tied with Jolt. But it might not happen, and I'm I'm okay with that. Like, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. So be it. As I am going to get off a of Calm Mind here. And uh, no matter what he does, really, I can just Psychic and get a kill. So, and if he U-turns into my Lotic, then I don't really care. The Hazards being up is really nice, because he's taking 16, 22 every time he switches in. So he's only really regenerating 8% back every time. So I'm just going to Psychic. He already wasted his Z move with Landorus. Uh, he is in range of a plus one Psychic from my Cresselia, if I'm not mistaken. To Landorus with no bulk. Yeah, he's dead. He's 100% dead. No matter what kind of Lando he is. He takes min... If he's no bulk, he takes 86 to 101. Somehow. <laughs> I'm not... Not sure. Oh, wait, it's set to Z move. 45 to 53. So he should be dead after rocks. So did he U-turn? I didn't even see what happened. Okay, yeah, he did. He did, he did, he did. What is he going into? It's like, it doesn't matter what he goes into. It's going to die. <laughs> it, it's going to die. If he goes into Milotic, I get up another sub. If he goes into Lando, it de it's dead. 
it, I almost said it dead. Uh, if he goes into Jolteon, it should be dead after two rounds of full hazards or near full hazards. And uh, yeah, I'm surprised he U-turned. I could have subbed again, and it would have been free. Just something I did in my mocks. I just subbed up again on the mean show. Let's see what he goes into. Like I said, Milo, it's free. It's a free sub. Doesn't matter what he does. Boomy, that is the Lando. This should drop to Psychic based on the damage that it did to my uh, Umbreon earlier. It does 45 to 53 min. So here's the Psychic. He's at about 40. As that does drop. Beautiful. All right. If he goes into Mean Shao, I am going to click Moonlight because he will more than likely knock off my leftovers. So we're going to get rid of Lando on the layout. We have seven minutes left, guys. I really need to pull this off. Like, I don't need to, but I want to. <laughs> I really, really want to. As uh, he is going to go into his Mean Shao. Uh, and like I said, I am just clicking um, the, uh, the Moonlight button. I could also just Psychic and kill him. Uh, but Moonlight is a better option. Because his next knockoff does, like, nothing. <laughs> I already killed Jolteon from where it's at. Because I'm plus one. At least I should. Jolteon. Default set. Uh, plus one Psychic. Yeah, it does min 45. As he goes for knockoff, that's what was expected. And I'm going to get off of Moonlight. And I don't really care about not having my leftovers. That does not matter. And uh, his Jolteon definitely has some bulk, so it, it might not drop immediately. So I got to keep that in mind. Uh, we're just going to click Psychic. And, like, obviously his, uh, his Milotic can, like, recover stall me, but that's, like, all it can do. <laughs> he should go for knockoff again here, in theory. As uh, I'm glad he was Detail and not Haze. That made things a whole lot easier. Obviously, I could have gotten Spidef drops on the, uh, on the Milotic and forced it to, uh, to switch out. As he does go for another knockoff, this is going to do not that much. It does about, uh, like, 22-ish. And we are going to knock out the Mean Shao with Psychic. And it should be elementary from here on out. Very, very simple. As uh, Mean Shao is gone, if the Milotic comes in... Okay, it's going to be the Jolteon. I think he's conceded at this point. And uh, there's the hazard damage, and he falls to just below 45%. And uh, I'm just going to click... I'm going to click Moonlight because there's a chance that he spidef drops me with um, with Shadow Ball. So Moonlight is my better play. All the time. And uh, like I really I really want this, this game to be over. Uh, is he going to go for Signal Beam? That's expected. It hits both this and Umbreon. But I am at plus one spidef, so that does absolutely nothing. And uh, the only thing he can do to me now is confuse me. So, and there's only five minutes left. I need to get up multiple Calm Minds. So, uh, we're going to go for the uh, Psychic right here. Um, in theory, we might be able to knock out the Jolteon. Might. It does 47 to 54 to no bulk. And uh, we are going to get off the Psychic right here. That is going to knock out the Jolteon. Okay. So, now all I need to do is sub, Calm Mind, Calm Mind, and start clicking Psychic. That's it. So hopefully he gives me the time to do that. As uh, Jolteon is gone, let me get it off the layout here. Not that it really matters at this point. Jolteon, goodbye. All right, so sub, not making the misplay. And uh, then we will start clicking Calm Mind, Calm Mind, Psychic, 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 and he should lose. Should be over. Uh... Sorry, uh, I was getting message for the NPL. Um, yeah, I'm going to sub up. Let's see what he does. He goes for the Scald. He's going to try to crit me through my Spidef boost, which may or may not work out for him. As uh, Yeah, that, that would be the only way that he wins is if he crits me repeatedly. Obviously, I don't have my leftovers anymore, so I, like, I have to watch out. But uh, I'm going to Calm Mind up again. And then if I have to sub again, I will, but I shouldn't have to, 
in theory. And then I should be able to hit this Milotic for about 40% each time, because the last one did about 20. So we are going to get up another Calm Mind. We are at 3 minutes 38. Let's try to do this. He goes for the Scald. He's going to try to break my sub again. And does it break? No. Okay, so we can go straight for the Psychic here. And uh, with 3 minutes 22 seconds left, hopefully we'll be able to do this. This burn animation is pissing me off. Please, Magic, let me finish this game. Let's go. It's Psychic. And we will... Uh, if he recovers now, <laughs> I'm going to be really angry. Because then I have to go for another Calm Mind. There we go. Psychic, as that is going to do... Yep, that's a 2-hit KO, it looks like. He goes for Scald, good. Alright. And uh, he should be able to break my sub now, obviously. And uh, I'm just going to Psychic again, and this should be a good game. Please let it be a 5-0. That's going to be the story of the, uh, of the season right there, is both of me and Jolt getting the same record three weeks in a row, and then playing each other on week four. Come on. Let's go, Psychic. Please knock it out. It should. We got two minutes left. I'm going to go for Psychic. Does it knock it out? Do we get it? <laughs> Woo! There we go. We got a 5-0 over Magic Activator and his Memphis Drizz Drizzlies, guys. Excuse me. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy. If you're uh, hyped to see us be 3-0, uh, I do uh, recommend you click the like button as well as the subscribe button down below to see more of our games this season, especially next week's because Jolt and I are both 3-0 plus 11 with the exact same scores each and every week from week 1 to 3. So definitely uh, go and, uh, sorry if I spoiled Jolt's game for you, but definitely go and check it out. Uh, I, I said it multiple times during this video, so I do apologize. Um, if I, if I ruined that for, for anybody, uh, Jolt, please excuse me, but this is pretty hype for me. So, uh, guys, again, make sure to check out my opponent in the description down below. His link will be there. Uh, if you want to go and see his side of the battle, obviously the, uh, the sub Cresselia caught him off guard and, uh, yeah, that's just how it goes sometimes. But, uh, yeah, uh, again, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys later. Ciao.